show, show, show. I wanna show. It's your, it's your buddy. Yo, I, I pre-ordered an iPad. Actually, mine's not an iPad. It's an iPod. It's an iPod. 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 Fix all the hennies. Yo, show, show. Yeah, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do a vlog. Really, I feel like dancing. It's Saturday night. It's 10 a.m. It's 10 p.m. rather. Uh, I should go out. I don't really feel like going out. I do because it's nice, but I think I'd rather go to church. But anyway, I want to do a vlog. If I was going to dance, I will, I'll, show, I'll tell you what song I would dance to. I was just listening to it. Okay. Why is it going to Apple Store? Hold on. Let me see if I got it on an accent. Chaka. Shaka. 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 Nah. So I used to call my girlfriend, old girlfriend. So it was good to get out, get a breath, of, a breath of fresh air, and some Chinese food. Hold on. Yo, I got my iPad. I said that right. Got my iPod, my iPod on pre-order. What the heck is that? That's somewhere. Like Try to make it work. Um, I, you know, and especially, you know, because I was thinking, but some people must think I'm a terrible person. They must think <laughs> that I'm a bad person because I tell the truth. <laughs> ah, they might hate me because I tell the truth, you know. But I'll be honest. I'll be honest with you. That's one of my favorite guests say. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I used to be a salesperson and say that, and people knew I was being honest, you know. But um I don't hate homosexuals. You know what it is? Is I fear God. Okay. Um I fear God. I fear God more than homosexuality. 
okay? I figure out more than what you guys say. Okay, you can watch earthquakes and earth crumbling and snow getting hit by something and think that there's no God. More so. And, and my God, you know, even if I didn't like uh, somebody because of whatever reason, uh, then my God says love them. My God says love those who do stuff to make me hate him <laughs> and I fear him enough to do what he says you know enough now that don't mean I'm perfect don't mean anything and I think that's a big thing where people think that you're perfect um you know there's uh there's a lot of, I turned on the television the other day and it's really funny uh I saw this stuff about this um um uh stuff what's going on with the Vatican and stuff like that um, you know, we got to remember there's men and there's God, you know, and, you know, man, let me scratch that. I don't even want to talk about that. So, my point is, is that, is that, um, I want to talk about respect. Um, let me say something else. Just so you know. The reason why, you know, I don't hate anybody also. It's not about hate to me. It's nothing to do with hate. It's not even emotional. It's just laws and authority. I respect authority. Now, people say, it says in the Bible, the, the, beginning of wisdom is to fear God. Now, by fear, take that word out and put it in replace. Uh, replace that word by uh, respect. That's what fear means. You respect. Like, you respect authority. Like, when a, a cop is an authority over a the citizen, that's why he's an officer. He's official. So you don't talk crap to an official who is who has the authority to to uh, over you know have a certain amount of authority? They're not supposed to um, disrespect your citizens' rights, but they are an authority. They are an official. You respect them. You respect the law. You know, if, given that it's a fair, good law, okay, and it doesn't go against your you know who you are as a normal human being, you know. As a, as a, as a, you know, law, as a, a human being. So, so you have certain rights and they are not to disrespect your humanity rights, meaning they're not supposed to beat you to death for no reason, you know, or even if they have a good reason, they're supposed to apply only a certain amount of pressure. And that means if you're not attacking them, then they should not be attacking you. And that's the problem what we have with human rights. But in general, it is our job to respect their authority. They ask you a question, they ask you to do something, they tell you to stop, you stop, they tell you to go, you go. You know, they're an official, you know, they are too. And that is, a, a, they're operating in, in regards to another authority. Like in the situation with um, Obama and the president, President Obama, that, um, you know, for them to, that newscaster to, um, over talk him if he tells you to hold on or be uh, you know take it easy if he gives you the signals and stuff like that and you just over talk him you're not respecting his authority and like you know the reason why you respect authority because that man has the power to make you disappear i mean literally your atoms and everything i mean well maybe not your atoms because they cannot destroy matter but you know they could he can make you disappear okay uh, one way or another you know or, you know but that's he's he's has a, that much power that he doesn't use that for those uh, small trifling little things like somebody who is just you know out of line and out of their position and out of order and so, you know, there's an order to this. There's an order to corporate. There's a, you know, when you have a boss, you respect their authority. 
the authority is is that they can fire you and you will go hungry or you can like a bit like a newscaster could lose his job like Imus. You know, you respect their authority. You know. You know what I'm talking. Now, when somebody can shake the planet, cause earthquakes, I mean I'm not saying that God is doing it. Okay. All I'm saying is is that he has the power to do it. Okay. So I respect and authority or fear in the sense of a, a good fear because it is good common sense to respect somebody that can just, you know, switch your lights off. You know, it's like, you know, don't, you know, call your number. You know, I'm just saying that, you know, it's a due respect. There's a hierarchy. There's a hierarchy. Like the president is probably the most powerful man uh, on the planet. That's questionable. That's debatable. But, you know, he could whisper a nudge or, or nudge one of his buddies on his way out, and they'll take care of you. You know, <laughs> they'll take care of you real good. You know, they have a lot of authority. You know, he could do that to a country, you know. He could lay a country out. You know, one man. You know, like, you know, brothers, you know, they could send hundreds of thousands of men. You respect that that force. You respect that force. So, problem is, I want to say, I'm all about me. I don't care. Like, you know, the problem with a lot of um, young black youth that don't have a father figure in their household, they don't understand authority. I grew up with authority. I grew up with a father. And he was all about authority. Maybe a little bit too much, but, you know. But still, like, in this day where you have, like, a situation where you have, like, a kid who is addicted to um, porn. I just happened to see this on television. One day I turned it on. I turned it on uh, a couple of weeks ago, and this kid kills his mother because uh, supposedly he was so embarrassed by, you know, his it causing him, her thousands of dollars, you know, and they, you know, the, the church also destroyed that house that he did that. And uh, I'm not judging them or any situation, but I actually happened to see that. And he, uh, I ain't going, I, I can't even go there. His mother said she loved him. And, uh, but, you know, she had to go through a judge that, uh, you know, that judge is a very authoritative father figure. And it's unfortunately that, um, he couldn't, the judge just didn't have a right to just whip his butt. Cause I think that would have solved a lot of things right then and there. But, um, you know, he had to use whatever tactics he could to, uh, show this kid that he's an authority and that, you know, his mother is an authority. And so, uh, anyway. But my point is, is you have a lot of people who go around and they have a disrespect for authority. I just think that God is the ultimate, I believe. And I, you know, that God is the ultimate authority, you know. And so, you know, uh, so, you know, I, when God says, you know, and I've said this a lot of times. I said that lots of times. You know, in the in the book of Daniel, I just go when, go and re watch some of my videos. In the book of Daniel, when he says, it wasn't until you went into God's house. It wasn't until you went and started taking the chalices and the things and the sacrifices and those that which are meant to glorify God uh, that, you know, the writing became, was on the wall. You know, with, uh, I forgot his, I think it was the, one of Nebuchadnezzar's sons or something. I forgot who it was, the king at that time. But it wasn't until they got so drunk, they got so high, and they got so happy, and they got so gala on this gala event that they actually went in there and stole, the, took the things and decided to get them drunk and start sacrificing that to other gods. You know, gods of their party gods of their their gala event you know it wasn't until then that there had been a problem you know that there it became a problem and the writing was on the wall 
So, you know, I also did something in, uh, by, um, uh, in Malachi, you know, when you just start bringing up these dead, lifeless types of things on the altar of God, you know, dead, uh, in Malachi, you know, and God said, shut the doors, you know, and, <laughs> and quite honestly, you know, I ain't even gonna say it again. some people know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> you know, God's authority had um, you know, God just I I can't go there. I can't say exactly what that because if you didn't get it, I won't say it. Uh, some people got it. So oh, really, you know what? That's a true kind of pain. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Anyway. I bet you all I love you all.